Well, hello, YouTubers, gold lovers, prospectors, people of all sorts. Welcome back to my channel, Mike here. And we're continuing dealing with the ore I got from the old abandoned Wyoming mine um, in the previous video in this series. And I'll put a link up to that video in the upper right. You can check that out. I was getting um, gold ore from the ore bin the high-grade ore bin of an abandoned gold mine in Wyoming. The mine's been closed for like 40, 50 years. This stuff's just been sitting in that ore bin. It was the last ore they mined out of that mine before they shut the mine down. They never got around to processing it through their plant to get the gold out of it. It's just been sitting in that ore bin, growing weeds for the last 40, 50 years. So um, in that last video, I showed you how I brought home five sacks of ore from that ore bin, uh, 50, 60 pounds per sack. And I'm working on plans for processing it. In that last video, I sifted out some of the fines from this stuff and panned it out and found good gold in the pan. The problem is, this isn't all fines. A lot of this stuff is big chunks of rock that was blasted out of the mountain. And it's just too big for me to deal with. I'm going to have to reduce it to a much smaller size. Okay, I need a primary ore crushing method to deal with this stuff so I can process it. Now, I do have an ore crusher over here, and we've seen it in previous videos, my Smash-O-Matic, okay? But the Smash-O-Matic can only handle stuff up to a certain size. And, well, a lot of the stuff down here in this ore is just way too big to get through the Smash-O-Matic. So, I need a primary ore crushing system in order to reduce the size of the rocks in those bags down to something that can go through the smash matic The smash matic will turn any rocks I put into it into dust. And I have a lot of videos on the smash matic because I, I built this. I actually had a contest to, uh, to name it amongst my viewers in smash matic one But uh, it's a flail mill. It's kind of like a hybrid flail hammer mill. It's got some uh, chains in on the shaft in there that spin around insanely fast, and on the end of the chains are some steel hammers. And um, any rock that goes down through the inlet chute gets in there, and those spinning hammers pulverize it, turn it into dust. I hook a vacuum cleaner up to the outlet port here and suck all the dust away and collect it. So that's how the smash matic works, but it only works for rocks that are about so big, okay? Um, I can't put rocks in even that are the full size of the inlet chute because it has a couple of choke points. So the rocks actually have to be a little bit smaller, maybe an inch, maybe a little over an inch in any dimension, and they can go in. Uh, but there's, there's a choke point in the back here where the rocks go into the chamber to get um, smacked. So I can't, I can't put the big rocks in. i got to put smaller rocks in. So, primary crusher. How am I going to do it? My friend Jim is really interested in knowing how I am going to crush these rocks. He's like, what are you going to do? Are you going to build, like, a monster smash o a big machine? Or are you going to... Are you going to buy or rent, like, one of Jason's big jaw crushers from MBMM? And I'm like, no, I got other ideas. I got other ideas about how to deal with this stuff. I don't know if this is going to work in the long run because, well, this is only the beginning. This is only the beginning because, you know, I've got a few hundred pounds of ore here that needs to be crushed up. But that ore bin in Wyoming probably has a ton or two in it. And over time, I would like to clean all that ore out and get all the gold in it. So, um... Over time, I might have to do something like a bigger jaw crusher or something, but I think for now, just to process this stuff, I've got some other ideas on primary ore crushing technology. So let's move the camera and take a look at what I've got going on here. So over here, here's some oversized stuff from the ore, and I should be wearing gloves because this stuff contains a lot of arsenic. I'll glove up before I really deal with it. But uh, 
This stuff's just a little too big to go into the Smash-O-Matic. Some of these will go in, but they're a little on the large side. They'll bog it down until they get smashed into dust. So, and some of them are just too big to go in. So how am I going to do it? Well, first off, I've got this doohickey, which is just a piece of steel pipe that's plugged on one end. Okay, how does that help me? Well, when you combine it with that, that's how it helps me out. Now these are a set that I got from High Plains Prospectors. I will put a link to their store and this product at the bottom of the video. Now, I don't make any money off this by recommending them. This is, in fact, I'm not really even recommending them yet. We're going to see how well this works. And then you can decide for yourself whether you'd want to pick up one of these from them. Now, like I said, I'm not making any money off of it. There's nothing in it for me. This is just sort of an unbiased review of how well or of how well this thing works or doesn't work. We'll find out on this particular ore. Now you're gonna have to provide your own ear hammer uh, but you get the the hammer head here that goes in it and you get the anvil. You can buy them separately too if you only need one or the other. I bought them both. Now this is very loud and it produces a lot of bad dust. So and this this ore has a lot of arsenic in it. So I'm going to glove up. I'm going to put on my mask and my hearing protection and then we'll give a little demonstration and see how well this thing works. Okay, I got my gloves, my mask, and my hearing protection on. Uh, eye protection would be a good idea too because sometimes stuff comes flying out. But uh, let's put a couple of these rocks in here and see what this thing will do to them. Hooked up to my big... Uh, 25 gallon air compressor over there. Some rocks pulverize. Some rocks don't want to. Up. So I'm going to set that one aside because it just ain't happening. See, some just pulverize immediately. Others, no such luck. Now this stuff's all small enough to go into smash of attic. Now, it may seem a little slow to do it one or two at a time, but you know, what, what can you do? You know, that's the way it's got to be. So it is going to be slow, but it also gives me the opportunity to look at these things individually before I crush them up. And every once in a while I find a piece like this one, which I don't really think is ore. I think this is wall rock. I doubt there's any gold in here. It's also a lot harder than the ore. So, I might just set this stuff aside and not bother crushing it. Because I don't think this is ore. I think this is wall rock. And I've seen some other wall rock too that I've set aside. But let's get a close up look down here at how this works. Okay, so, big lump in here. A lot of pieces now. 
So that's how that's going to work. Dump that in the, the gold pan. Put another big lump in. So doesn't always work. Okay? This thing doesn't always smash these big ore chunks as nicely as I'd like. And look, I don't know if I hope that red color is showing up in there where I've knocked a piece off. That's, you know what that is? That's limonite in there. So this is, this is probably good ore. It's just kind of hard. So, yeah, see, it's kind of red orange in there where I just knocked another little piece off. But I'm not breaking this up. So there's going to be a lot of pieces here that just don't want to break up. Let's try this one. This one's breaking up a lot easier. Okay. So, in terms of reviewing this thing, is it the fault of this thing right here that it's not breaking up some of the ore? Is it the fault of my air gun? I don't know. Um, I will say this. In the promotional videos that they put out for this system, the anvil and the hammer for your air gun, they're crushing quartz. Quartz is very hard, but it's also very brittle, okay? And it will shatter fairly easy. If you hit it hard enough. This stuff, kind of hard, but it's not as brittle as quartz. It's a little more ductile. So, uh, some pieces, like this one, they just don't want to break as easy. I think I've got another idea for dealing with these. So let me set aside a few of these that won't break, and we'll try something else on them. But as, in terms of reviewing this, I don't know that it's fault it's at fault for not being able to crush some of this ore. Because I'm not crushing quartz, which is what they advertised it for being able to do. So the air compressor just came on. But here we are, we're just knocking little corners off of it. We're not crushing it. way to deal with these and I got an idea so here's my dilemma this thing just isn't doing the job on some of these big pieces here or even some of the small pieces is it the fault of the product I bought is it just not living up to the manufacturer's hype is my air gun not powerful enough is it the ore which is hard but ductile compared to quartz. Well anyway, no matter what the problem is, I gotta find a solution. So um, I was at Home Depot and I found a pack of three chisels there at Home Depot. And here's two of them. One's a point and one's a chisel. The other's a chisel with a notch in it. Uh, it looks just like this except it has a notch in it. So. Um, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to replace this with the chisel point for some of the ones that won't crush. And we'll see if this will break it up into small enough pieces to get in the smash o -matic. So we might have to go back and forth between the big hammer and the chisel, if the chisel works. So let's find out if the chisel is going to work. So I will swap out the tools in the end of the air hammer. Okay, there we go. Now we got a chisel end in it. Now, I talked a little bit in the last video about the crushing technology they had at this mine. It was all still there, all the equipment, rotting away out in the desert there, up in the mountains. Um, they had a primary crusher. Well, it was really their only crusher. It was immense. It was a huge, huge impact mill. 
Um, it must have been 15, 20 feet long, and it had a spinning drum in it that was just immense. And you know what it used for hammers? It used sections of railroad track for hammers to pound all the rocks. And it had an inlet port on it big enough to let any of the rocks in that, uh, in that ore bin through. But me, I've got to come up with a primary crushing technology to get the stuff into the smash o -matic. So, we'll try this and see how well it works on some of this stuff, okay? Let's see here. I got to put my hearing protection back on. Let me do that. That's loud. Wow. But it seems to be working. Yep. Wow, the sparks are flying off this stuff as I hammer it. But look at that. That is good looking ore right there. Yeah, we're getting it. Not easy, but we're getting it. This is hard stuff, or at least hard and ductile. There we go. You wouldn't normally think of those two properties going together, but I think that's why this stuff isn't breaking so easy. I think it's both hard and ductile. But those should all go in the smash matic now. That That's really good looking ore. It's buggy. I'll bet there's gold hiding out in those bugs. That's some good looking stuff. Let's try one of these big honkers here. Oh, did you see the sparks? I hope they showed up on video. Yeah, that's some good ore too. Oh yeah. This is breaking up a little easier. Oh, well, they spoke too soon. Yeah, there's some interesting stuff in there. I should probably look at some of this with a loop and see if I can see any free gold. Well, you know what? Sad to say, at least on the harder stuff. The cheap chisel bit I bought at Home Depot works better than my expensive hammer bit that I bought at the, uh, the High Plains Prospecting. But the anvil's nice, containing all the pieces. Yep. Yep, so let's see, most of these are probably small enough. A couple of them I might want to hit again. But... Working. See, once they get round though, that's the problem. They just want to roll away. I might have to uh, get the hammer out to hammer some of these rounded off ones now because I can't get a good hit on them with the chisel. Yeah, that's good looking stuff. Hope to get a lot of gold out of this stuff. You are going to be trouble, though, aren't you? Just no good way to get a chisel on there now. And I just know I'll hurt myself if I try to hold it. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So, for the stuff that won't hammer, I need this.
I'm pretty sure this is wall rock. Let's have a look at what it looks like inside. I would say that is not ore. Yeah, it's got a completely different look to it. It might have some low-grade gold in it, but I'm not even sure about that. That sure looks like wall rock to me. So, I'm not going to include this stuff. I'll hold it back for now. Maybe I'll process it at the end and see if it actually has anything. Alright, well, it's working. It's slow, but I knew it would be. But I'm getting this stuff down to a size that I can put it through the smash o -matic. So that's great. Some of this stuff looks like really good ore, too. Um, as for an honest review of this thing, well, for this particular ore, I'd give it maybe a C plus, okay? Maybe just a solid C. I don't know. There's a lot of rocks. It's not crushing. Now, again, it could be... A problem with my air hammer this is not a high-end air hammer okay uh, but on the other hand cheap chisel I got at Home Depot does a number on this stuff so I don't know if I was crushing quartz maybe this would work better I'll have to wait until you know sometime when I've got some quartz ore to crush and we'll see how well this works then but for this particular ore you know, like I said, maybe a C. This is probably a B plus or a low A. You know, for crushing this kind of ore. But hey, at least I've got my primary crushing technology sorted out. I know how to do it. I know how to reduce the big rocks in this stuff. And there's some big ones in there. Bigger than you've seen so far. Going to have to reduce them to small enough size to get into the smash o over here. Through that little opening at the top. And then from the smash o -matic, next step will be into a recirculating sluice. Once I've reduced all this stuff to a fine powder, we'll run it through a recirculating sluice and the sluice should capture the gold. Other heavy minerals too, but at least we'll get a concentrate containing the vast quantity of the gold. And that concentrate should be a lot easier to deal with than the bulk material. So that's where we're going next. Okay, I've got my primary crushing technology. I've got my secondary crushing technology over here in the smash matic Next, I need separation. And uh, that's where we're going to need a recirculating sluice. So that's what I'm going to start working on next. And in another video, hopefully not too far in the future, we should have a, a recirculating sluice going. We'll set that up. We'll dial it in so it works. It's starting to capture the gold. And then we can go into production mode where I start dealing with all this stuff in this five bags of material on a large scale and getting the gold out of it. So that's my goal. Okay. So this didn't work as well as I hoped, but this anvil works great. And this cheap chisel works pretty good. So good to know. Some of this stuff's wall rock, some of it's not, some of it's good ore. So I guess I'll have to go on a case-by-case -case basis as I break it up and look at it and say, ah, that's no good, or oh, that's really good stuff, and throw it in there. All right, well, I hope you found this video a little bit interesting, educational, informative, inspirational, whatever. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see my future videos. Like I said, there'll be more coming down the road as I put together my whole processing system to handle this stuff coming from coming out of the bags, to coming out of the sluice, all right? And there'll be lots of other videos on other things. I got some other stuff, interesting stuff, cooking in the background. So subscribe and check those videos out as they come out in the future. And uh, check out my second channel if you're at all interested in electronics or retro computing. There's a lot of the good stuff going on over there, too. So check that out. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching this one. Bye.